Tonight's presentation is under the baton of conductor Christopher Convasori. Christopher is the music director of the Vivant Symphony Orchestra and the principal pops conductor for the Alabama Symphony Orchestra.
welcome to the stage, the Voices of Liberty.
special guest narrator, Josh Gad. at an Olaf meet and greet. Hi, everyone. Hi, I, I'm Josh Gad, or as I force my kids to call me, Disney legend Josh Gad. <laughs> great, uh, great to see you all out there for what is my final candlelight processional. This is, uh, this is, no, I'm as excited as you about this being my final candlelight processional. I have to get home. I have, I have to shoot on Monday. Um, I am so honored to be here. This has been such a thrill. How are you guys back there all, all the way in the back? How are you guys doing tonight? How's the view from Magic Kingdom tonight, good? Uh, I love you too, one person. Um, now this has been such a joy. Uh, I, I'm so thrilled to be here and even more thrilled to finally have a reason to wear a suit to Epcot. <laughs> if you are here for the first time, so am I, so this should be fun. And if you are here because you couldn't get a seat for Neil Patrick Harris, so am I. <laughs> so yeah, this should be fun. Now without further ado, what do you say we do this thing? <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney began the tradition of the candlelight processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. Right now, Walt Disney World is celebrating 50 years of magic here in Florida. And in that time, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. To continue this marvelous heritage, I invite you all to sit back, relax, and enjoy our magnificent orchestra and our incredible, incredible singers. Now let us begin. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus.
beat your heart out of Dina Menzel. <laughs> and it came to pass, in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
I wish I could slip you all the sheet music too in summer and see what happens. <laughs> Next time. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards all. said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherd told them. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? 
Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. at the end of Splash Mountain. Hens, <laughs> or whatever they are. They're all gonna be frogs soon anyway, so they're not. Oh, I'm sorry, too soon? <laughs> they're gonna take me off the stage in the middle of my last performance. <laughs> and behold, the star that they had seen went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
when the wise men had come and gone, and the angels had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town of Bethlehem. Alone for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in the manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, the bewilderment, and the awe that they felt for this tiny child washed over them. They felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring for them. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, heart swelling with the wonder of all he would become. of himself to the people who loved him 
and even to the people who betrayed him, to all people. That a baby in a manger could grow to become a man who taught a world of people what it means to love one another. That is the spirit of the season. And it lives inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all. this evening. Thank you so much. I have sincerely enjoyed being here with you every night of this week. It's truly been an honor and you guys are just some of the most tremendous musicians I have ever had the opportunity to work with. So thank every single one of you. You're brilliant. Honestly. 
You know, uh, 30 years ago, around there, I was a little kid from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thank you. I don't know if you're cheering the fact that at one point I was a little kid or that I was from Fort Lauderdale, but whatever, thank you for both. And I, I stood back there where you're all standing by the Morocco Pavilion, and I, I looked out and I said, man, one day, one day, I hope somebody is stupid enough to offer me the opportunity to host the Candlelight Processional. And to all you little dreamers out there, like you little guy, one day I hope I get to see you up here maybe 30 years from now doing this, okay? And in the meantime, I'm sending each and every one of you warm hugs. Love you all. And before you go, we'd like to leave you this evening with one final wish. This holiday season means something different to everyone. Across languages and customs, we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and we share them with one another at every opportunity. Because ultimately, the message at the heart of all of our celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. Peace on earth.